Greetings everybody, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Apocalypse, which originally streamed live September 14th. Okay, that's the outro. Could be worse. I am a cow. I'm here to tell you something mootiful. <laughs> something ice creamy. <laughs> Come to Churn R Us. Enjoy ice cream from our very own Daisy Dairy. Feel the most nutritious taste explosion known to man. This, this is the message of the cows. Churn R Us, arms above your head. Wait, what? Anything different on this one than the last one? Difficulty's higher. Uh, I'm not zone restricted. Zombies respawn. There's no multi hit. Uh, zombie attacks from behind are, are very dangerous. Yep. There's a lot different. Different town. Different gender. Different starting. Possibly different tactics. Let's see. And no ducks. Yes. No safe scumming. No backups, no oopsies. Uh, looks like there's a cop here. I might want their bulletproof vest. But I'm gonna have to go through some of these blokes for it. Did they, are they just wandering? Yeah. They're just wander, wandering randomly. Now these zombies are the ones that just like wandered in. These aren't respawns or anything like that, because respawns don't happen that fast. It would take three days of me not being present in a chunk. Does the game delete your save when you die? Uh, no, but it flags you as dead. So your sa save still exists. Uh, let me wear this one. Your save will still exist, but your character will be dead. And you can start a new character in that same save. So there's two ways to, like, continue if you die. One is to start a new game from day zero, uh, July 9th. Or two, to start a new character that exists in the world that you died in. But, you know, without the experience that you acquired. That second method is going to be a lot more viable um, later on because currently with the whole sit, couch potato, watch the TV meta. You're not really, you're fairly, I'll put it this way, you're fairly disadvantaged if you want to start a new character in an already existing world because all of that TV experience can't be earned again. So you're losing out on a massive amount of XP. Um, but one of the features that they're planning on adding in is pre-recorded shows with a VCR, which flips the meta on the head, allowing you to start a new character in an already existing world without ridiculous levels of penalty. Because at present, I would say it is massively prohibitive to start a new character, because uh, you just you just miss out on. Uh, Leveling up in this game takes so much time. So it, it it's pretty brutal to start from zero. Yeah, the, the game drowns me out when I'm murdering dozens. Murdering... I could turn it down, but I kind of like the jump scares of when they're leap out at me. Oh, okay, there goes that weapon. I have another metal pipe at home, but we ain't home right now. No biting. No biting. Fine. 
It'd be like that, huh? I will play whack-a-mole with your face with a mallet. Don't test me. It's not exactly the highest DPS weapon in the game. But in a pinch. Just keep going backwards. Unfortunately, she's getting a little tired, which lowers her combat effectiveness. I can always oh there we go. I can always use the fence to uh, separate them out. Splat. Reverse my car into them. <laughs> What game do you think I'm playing? Well, with no metal pipe, I don't really know if I want to take on the rest of this group. Unless I have another spare weapon in here. Rolling pin, that won't do. Yeah, I really don't have another weapon in here. Oh well, I might not want to fight them, but it seems like they want to fight me. I'm getting hungry, so pie. Always eat pie. Well, this concerns me. Where did the cop go? And all the other zombies that were here. Um, what? Are they in the woods? Hello, are you in the woods? Yeah, the new sounds in this patch are definitely a little bit more dangerous. Because of that, no distinct. Now, if you, um, like me, have your hit markers on, it's a little bit easier to tell if the zombie's dead or not, because the hit marker will disappear. <laughs> Right, because I can stomp until they're no longer green, and then I know they're dead. Um, it's always a tactic. I don't know where these guys went. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is uh, slowly work my way back to base. Trying to clear them out one at a time, or two at a time at most. You're already stressed enough. Can you build weapons like clubs and such? Yes, you can build, um, like spiked planks and spiked baseball bats and things like that. You can make spears and then tape things to the end of the spears like knives or spoons. Mind you, spoon attached to the end of the spear does not make for a very good weapon, but it allows you to do it. I, I advise against it, but allows you to do it. Obviously very bad at sneaking. They had a newspaper. Maybe I want that. I think it might be safe to drive home now. Can you get guns? Yeah, I actually already have a gun. Don't have bullets for it. Um, any experienced player will also tell you that there is no faster way to commit suicide than to fire a firearm when you don't have enough bullets to back it up. And that would be true. That would be unequivocally, positively true. Um, Making a lot of noise, i.e. using a firearm, very, very fast way to die. Because guns are loud and will draw all of the zombies within 
hundreds of meters, if not kilometers to you. Well, not kilometers, but hundreds of meters to you. And uh, if you're not ready for that, you're dead. So a lot of a lot of really experienced players will avoid using guns for a very long time until they rummage up, up enough ammo. Because if you don't have enough ammo to shoot everything that comes within earshot, you are not ready to fire that firearm. Is that what I would say? So I'll put it like this: If I shot a shotgun where I'm standing right now, uh, probably about 200 zombies would come flooding from every direction to come eat me. So. At least 200, if not 500. It would be a lot. If you're in the middle of the nowhere in the woods, it's a little bit safer because there's not a lot of zombie density in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere. But I'm in a suburb, so it's more densely populated than the middle of the woods. And some of the cities have... Some, some of the cities, it would be legit thousands. Uh, the end of my last um, series on this, I shot a shotgun pretty much in the middle of the woods and like a thousand zombies turned out to come eat my brains. Because that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, it's uh, almost time for... What is the evening show tonight? This is the fourth, so it would be forging? It's almost time for my forging show. I saw a zombie or two. Let me hide this. I saw a zombie or two in the backyard over here. Maybe that cop zombie I wanted to get because the bulletproof vest is heavy but protecting. I should have grabbed the uh, metal pipe though. This wooden melts not great as a weapon. Well, I saw the cop here, but I have no idea where I went. Or I thought I saw the cop. But Hardy disappeared. That's not her. Okay. Well, my character's tired, so I might as well call it quits for battle tonight. Read a book, make some eggs, and uh, learn something from the TV. I think I'm just about done with the... Yep, 11 pages left of the tailoring book. So let me get another book to read after the tailoring is done. Trapping... I don't think I can benefit. Oh, no, I can still benefit from carpentry. This book is obsolete. There, done. Uh... Fishing, first aid, farming, maybe farming? Maybe farming. I'm trying to think of. Oh, they're already playing. Well, that's an infomercial. I'm not missing much. I'll just grab the metalwork. I don't know where the farming book is. Uh, mechanics would be nice, Shona, but you need a mechanic level of 5 to mess with engines. So I think it's far more likely that I just... That's annoying. It's far more likely that I... Uh... Oh, maybe that's why the swarms came here. It's far more likely I just find a better car. What the heck is that? Then I switch the engines out. One of those watches out there is making a hell of a lot of noise, but I don't want to miss this show. Oh yeah, the alarm in the cupboard. I think the cupboard's close enough. Oh god, that's annoying. Stop. Wouldn't be one of those. I can already hear the zombies getting ornery. Here it is. 
Stop. Dear Lord. Alarm clock. You want to be broken? Because this is how you get broken. Set alarm for never. Well, there goes that show. At least, uh, I don't think... I don't hear anyone coming up on me yet, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of a perimeter search before heading to sleep. I could wolf down vitamins, but I'm just going to take my chances that they're not too much heard that. Let's get the other metal pipe, though. Alright, neighborhood patrol. I think we're fine. I've been pretty consistently killing everything around, so... I don't think anything was within the earshot. Hopefully. So, Melissa, are you ready to read some more and then go to sleep? Let's finish the tailoring book. Done. Metalwork really isn't needed, so let me find that farming book. Trapping wouldn't be terrible. Farming. There it is. Another thing I need to start doing, and I need to remind me of this, myself of this, is uh, trying to figure out where the emergency channel is. Because I don't know what it is yet. And that would be really handy to know. Can you barricade the door from the inside? Um, you could. But without barricading the windows and other things, it doesn't serve much of a purpose. I generally don't. Because, like, let's say I barricade the door, that also means I can't get out. So if, um, if zombies break through a window and start chasing me or whatever, let's say. Um, I don't have a way out either. It works both ways. How long do you get before the power and water start running? Um, that is totally random. I don't know how long it will be. It's up to RNG. It could be a day, it could be a week, it could be almost a month. It's not going to be longer than a month, but it could be almost a month, so, um, some time frame in between a day to a month. Or I think at most it's like t maybe 21 to 23 days, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, I'd have to look it up. So my last series, I had the water cut out on day two, I think, which was pretty big, pretty bad. To lose water that early is, uh... Kind of rough. But losing power would be even worse because you would not be able to watch TV for experience unless you had a generator and knew how to hook it up and had a lot of gasoline. It would, it would, I would much, much rather lose water than power for that reason. So this is day four, I think. Five? Four. Morning of the fourth. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, okay. Hey, Tins. Thank you for the, the raid there. Let me give you a little shout out. You were playing RimWorld. Cool. Awesome. What, uh, I'm assuming ideology? What kind of ideology were you running? And welcome, Raiders. If you want to know anything about this series, here it is. Brand new 
essentially default apocalypse challenge. Start with nothing. And try to survive. <laughs> Alright, this uh, infomercial's done. You done. Where are we heading today? So if you type exclamation mark map, I'll just do it for you this time. That brings up a map of Riverside, where we live. And I'm going to try to head to the food market today. Which is a little bit further south than where I was yesterday. We'll have to take it safely, because what happened in that burger joint should not have happened. That was a bit risky. We'll stop for murder. So you're just cannibals in your uh, ideology series, or you have other uh, memes as well? And they are dropping like flies. <laughs> Cannibal High Life. <laughs> That's a funny combo. Well, here's the burger joint, but I definitely aggroed a bit of a group. Oh, they're trickling at me one at a time, so that that's a mercy. Or not, because this lady has an iron skull. Whoa, don't do that. No chewing. Making sure... Yep, none of my clothing has been damaged. I need a... Scissors already. The amount of... I, I don't think I've ever had this hard of a time trying to find just stupid scissors. Oh, I didn't empty out my trunk. Well, that's a shame. Oh, well, whatever. Thank you for the raid. I hope you have a fabulous night. Here, raiders, I'll put the mascot on. Hey, dude. You're paid by the appearance. Here you go. <laughs> Bathrooms would have scissors? Yeah, I've checked a bunch of bathrooms, though. So far, none. But I'll continue searching. Wow, I'm really gonna have to fight for this laundromat, huh? Alright. Oh, is that group coming to me, too? Ah, oh, darn it. They are very perceptive. Oh god, everything is kind of... That engine is loud, I guess. Woke up the whole neighborhood. Oh boy, that car is surrounded. That's a good 20 zombies. How long till I find a sledgehammer? Well, it's probably not going to be like the 60 hours that it was last time. Because unlike last time, I can go to high sledgehammer likelihood spots. But maybe I get jinxed, maybe I get cursed. This character, unlike the last one, is also lucky. So the chance of a sledgehammer goes up a bit as well. 
I'm also curious if I'm gonna find like a katana or something like that. Some of the more rare weapons. Or, um, in the 115 hours of the last series, I never found uh, a rifle, uh, like automatic rifles. Which is pretty unlucky as well. You know what? I am getting low key surrounded. Captain Iron Skull over here just won't die. Or even get knocked down. There we go. Hey, short one went up. Probably. More maintenance. Let's see, what was that? That was short blood. Cool. Xanth, thanks for the resub. All 15 of them months. I came all the way down here to look for loot, and all I'm really doing is fighting over my vehicle. I should be more careful where I park. This guy here proving how effective the Garden Fork is as a weapon. You get stabbed through the quad with it. Don't stop him at all. Nothing like stopping for a cigarette bake break in the middle of a... Uh, zombie slam. Come on. Come on. Doing a pretty good job of clearing it out. There's still like 10 left. Honestly, when I'm taking on them on one-on-one, -on -one, I should probably just put the weapon away and shove and stomp. It is faster and it doesn't damage the weapon, which is about a third health left. So let's do that. Hope we don't get our fingers nibbled. Our weight is climbing. We're climbing up into the safe weight soon. We're just two kilos away. Nothing like a little light reading, waiting for the zombie to arrive. In truth, I probably didn't even get one page read. It was a ploy, it was a trick. Oh, get a little hungry. I can fix that. Give me tomato. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have done that a little bit more uh, inconspicuously. Except for these zombies are dumb. They're not walking towards me. Return of Fat Ash? Yeah, but this one's Melissa, so... And probably not trying to be fat, just not underweight. Oh, she's doing a good job on these group. Much better than the last time. And we're still not done. <laughs> just the impossibility of trying to fight our way into something. So what building is this? I gotta remind myself. This is just like a clothing store, I think. Maybe it has a backpack, because another thing that I'm surprised I haven't happened upon is like a duffel or anything that I can put on my back.
And yes, this is a this is a new run, Terrell. Stabbed him with a butter knife. That level of disrespect. Looks like the shop does have some provisions, though. If it could get them open. Slayer, thanks for the resub. I'm gonna have to turn back for the shows pretty soon, too. But we made some progress clearing out this way, which we can roll into looting later. One step at a time. Alright, because I'm about to leave, let's see if it has a fire alarm. Uh, smash window. Move glass, don't cut yourself, and... Not a fire alarm, a uh, security alarm, I mean. 60 cigarettes. Yes, please. Oh, man, 60 more cigarettes. And a bunch of letters. Alright, I'm probably gonna need to turn back if I want to make the show in a second here. Box of jars. Chips. Alright, let's go back now. I'll be back here. Yeah. No, more, more clothing? No. Lame! Wanted a fancy jacket or I don't know what I wanted. Fireman, uh, trench coat. Not that I would find that in a clothing store. Well, that would be good. Oh, come on. This engine sucks. Sounds like my real car. Crunch. I have killed so far 121. 11 squared. That number hopefully to climb. Indicating that I'm still alive. This time, uh. I would like to empty out my trunk. Crunch. Sunday driver with a snail icon. Love it. The two cooking pots are really nice. I haven't checked that uh, the water cooler that's in the passenger seat to make sure it's topped up. I really ought to do that rather than keep saying that I should do that. Alright, I'll get the rest after the show. With my highly encumbered body. I'm here, TV. Tell me about carpentry. I think we're learning about beds today. I am a captive audience. No pun intended. Six planks, four nails, one mattress. Bang, bang. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Emma is. Thanks for the resub. Yoda is the best co pilot? He really is. He really is. Couldn't ask for better. Carpentry is almost at four. Four is the. Bare minimum for uh, rain barrels. Not the good ones, but the bad ones. Uh, if you take a look at the crafts here. What I really want to be able to make is stairs. So. They're at six. But stairs don't really help me unless I have a sledgehammer. So. It's. It's complicated, right? Okay. 
I'm gonna fill all the cooking pots, because I might as well, right? I should also probably, um, sterilize my bandages. I don't even really have very many bandages. But I'll sterilize the bandage two that I have. Let's go ahead and do that. Where's that pot? And maybe fry up some eggs. I'm trying to use up the eggs, because... Actually, off, off the top of my head, I don't know the spoil time around eggs, but I'm just going to assume they're shorter than vegetables. Yeah, any rain barrels better than no rain barrels. <laughs> Absolutely. Plumbing. Any amount of plumbing is better than no plumbing, right? Add spice. At this point, I don't really care where I put stuff. I'm just dropping it off. Okay, so this water is going to be boiling, allowing me to sterilize. And... Disinfect two bandages. So now I have two sterilized bandages if something is to happen to me. I can patch myself up good. Still no backpack, still no scissors, no needle, no sledge. Uh, what else? I haven't found a box of nails. I don't... I'm not... Have I not found jerry cans either? I don't think I have. Uh, gas cans. Oh no, I have one. Hmm. At some point I should grab this, uh, maybe now. I'm gonna grab this gas can and go down to the gas station and start siphoning whatever gas I can siphon. And, uh, shove it into my primary car. Then hopefully have a full... I could also put the uh, gas into the generator, because the generator... I can't siphon it out of the generator, so maybe that's a bad bad call. But, um... I could technically do that. Okay, let's have a big old meal. We're almost... I think the low, low threshold here is uh, 75. Once I, is it 75? It should be, right? Once I hit 75 weight... I, uh, no longer am underweight, according to the game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's go on the gas run. Um, get us all filled up. Hey, Techno Beaver! Yeah, I also don't know the emergency channel, that's true. Let's see if it's programmed in this car, I haven't even checked. Talk radio... Nope. Bunch of talk radio. So, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, there will be... There's a few things that are totally random that gets randomized at the start of a new game. Uh, so those things would be what berry is poisonous. Uh, there's berries of different colors, but the poisonous one is determined at the start of a new server. And the emergency channel, uh, where you get weather information and also whether or not the helicopter is coming and storms and things like that. Uh, so that information is totally random. Now what you could do is at the top of every hour the emergency channel will play and you could hypothetically just try every channel and see which ones pick up a signal. But that's a lot of work. So instead I'm just check all the vehicles when I that are open in this uh, parking lot for emergency information. That way I can know when the chopper is coming and... Well, that's information that I think, feel like we need to have. Did I check this freezer already? I did.
So every radio that you stumble upon has a chance for the emergency channel to be pre-programmed into it. So that's that's how to find that in, out. Unless you want to do trial and error. Is this build 41? It is. It's 41, what, 5... 3. The latest. I'm playing on Apocalypse. And it is very early. Just July 13th. Alright, device options. No emergency channel. I have checked this for fuel, but I forget which ones had fuel and which didn't. So this one does not have fuel. Moving on. This does not have an emergency channel. And if I right-click and can't siphon fuel, uh, that means there are is none. I don't really need to check it. So this one has fuel. Uh, seems to me like barely any. <laughs> yep. 0.58 units of fuel. Great. That will help. Months ago, you stopped by when I was playing it. Made you interested? Yeah, it's, um... It is definitely one of those games that has been... Recurringly on my radar. I know that's not really a word. Because... I'm very eager to see it developed. And content added to it. And how it turns out in its final form. What just... There it is, 94.2 is the automated emergency broadcast system. So we have that information now, 9.4.2. So now I can just focus on siphoning. So with that, we can get weather information, we can get uh, helicopter information, and a heads up about the loss of uh, services and things. And by that I mean, you know, when water, power, that kind of stuff. I vaguely remember, yeah, maybe this one had a lot of gas. Well, full filled this can, so I'm gonna go with yes. And we've got 26 left. Let me drive closer. Take it all. If I fill my own tank, uh, what I'll do is I'll start adding it to the generator. Because I do have a generator in the car that I'm sure has zero fuel in it. cutoffs before the helicopter vents suck. Yeah. I mean, power cutoffs suck, period. The earlier they happen, the worse they are. I've, I've had... Uh, not recently, but I've had games in the past where I've lost power in, like, day two or three. And that's real brutal. Because it's like, alright, well, I guess no TV for me. No carpet free carpentry or cooking experience or anything else. Alright, I think my tank is now full. So let me get that generator out. Although it doesn't take a lot of gasoline to fill up a generator, so. So this generator is at 50%. More puppy treats. 
Don't knock it. I caught it. <laughs> Silly goose. Alright, so this generator is full of gas. So we have a tank that's full and a generator that's full. That's a good position to be in. And throwing that back into the seat. Might as well check now that I'm here and staring at it for the water dispenser. Making sure that this thing is full. Yep, it's full. I mean, the chances of it being partial is very, very low. I, I'm not even certain that they can be partials. What better safe than sorry? Nothing like siphoning gasoline, gasoline and then lighting up a cigarette, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong could come with that. <laughs> When the uh, Colonial Pipeline shut down and people started making a run on gasoline and like particular it oh hey we didn't even fill it particular idiots started to uh, immolate their own vehicles yeah I got a good laugh out of that not gonna lie maybe I'm maybe I'm bad maybe I'm evil but I did find that funny. Like, hey, you, causing the artificial shortage. Guess what? You just exploded your car. And for anyone in chat that doesn't know, don't put gasoline in a plastic bag. It will eat right through it. This engine, man. Oh, my God. Start! Oh my lord, imagine if I was being chased. I wouldn't have a vehicle, I'd be dead. I would have a vehicle, but I would definitely have some broken windows. Oh man. Stupid engine quality. Well, I'll be back just in time for the next show, which on the 4th is forging? Yeah, time to start grinding mechanics. The, uh, the bar that I live pretty close to tends to have some really good vehicles at the bar. So that's probably my next stop is to see if I can't pick up a sports car at the bar and ditch this uh, jalopy here. This vehicle, uh, I think was previously owned by like a 90 year old who um, never drove it, so it, st it stayed in pretty good condition, but never got oil changes. Wow. I come in the door and it's like forge. No time to spare. Yeah, drive back and forth on church on Sundays. Yep. The car does drive like that. Okay, well, we don't need to listen to a story about a raccoon. But I think we have some neighbors. Yep, the engine's so loud that it summoned the neighbors. Oh, it's the Age of Spiffo uh, infomercial. That was actually kind of funny, but we missed it. Heck, with the fixed engine, get hot wire and any car is yours. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Oh my god, I'm so tired, I can't even stomp this dude to death. 
I don't think it's time to pick any fights right now. <laughs> just keep stomping, just keep stomping. So filled gas can, a filled tank, well, mostly filled, we did drive home, and a filled, uh, a filled, uh, generator. I'm going to update my descriptions here. Maximize XP with couch potato meta, unfortunately. I'm on day four of seven, so the, or eight technically. The morning of the eighth is the last show. Or the morning of the eighth day, which is uh, the dead last show. So we're we're working our way there. Tomorrow, I think what I'm going to do is go down to the bar and get a whole bunch of booze and possibly a new car. Why does it say I have 10 eggs? I have three. Oh, I have pep. Oh, I guess I do have pepper. Well, I'll add pepper and salt. The meal of champions. Uh, what did I say? 94.6 was the emergency channel? Shoot, I should have remembered. Turn on. Edit preset. 94.2? Thanks. Emergency broadcast. Broadcast channel. I don't know. EBC. Good enough. Tune in. I'm only going to be able to get something at the top of the hour, but we'll we'll make sure that that is indeed uh, what we need. I'm sure it is. But trust but verify. Okay, my eggs are cooking. And we'll just read. Inhumanely tired. <laughs> That's how you know you're ready for a fight. So we're almost at the top of the hour. We should see uh, sort of the weather for tomorrow and all that jazz coming through the radio. Hopefully not like a warning about anything worse. Yep, there it is. You guys remembered. 94.2, thank you. Hot, humid, clear skies. Hot, sort of humid, clear skies. Yeah, we're good there. Severe weather warning. Thunderstorm in three days. Good to know. Too full to eat. Hey, bug him. Thanks, Theresa, buddy. Finally? <laughs> Were you waiting all this time? Was that it? Let's get some quick reading done before I head to sleep. Weight is almost out of the underweight category. Very close. Is there a special challenge in this run? No, just a simple survival. I mean, I would like to build a base and be successful and not die and be eaten by zombies, but time will tell. 
how close to get to there. Bring on the cooking shows. All right, there is the cooking XP. I'm hungry already. All right, eat leftovers. <laughs> you watch all the YouTubes? Took forever to get to the one year mark. Well, I think it took one year. That sounded sassy, but I appreciate it, Buck. I'm glad you tuned into the YouTubes and uh, you've been all quite of a long time supporter. Hey, Tusk, speaking of supporting. Hey, puppy. You want to carry it? You'll have to catch this. Watch. She's going to catch it. Nope, she didn't. Okay. No, hold on. You get redemption. <laughs> okay, she tried. She give it she gets an A for effort. <laughs> up up up. Up up. Yeah. All right, let's head to the bar. Head to the bars. Seven in the morning. Time to go to the bar. Having messed around with Riverside a bit, uh, getting ready for this stream, what I did find was like almost half of my starts in Riverside uh, started me in the bar for whatever reason, which I found interesting. So yesterday I spent a sizable amount of time uh, clearing my way to get to the clothing store. I finally got there and it was lame. Had, well, it wasn't that bad, I had some stuff. So maybe I'll stop short of the bar. The bar is um, this building on the bottom left where this building right here, that's where the bar is. Oh, don't panic, you're fine. <laughs> Pushing these Karens over. Tactical shoving. I'm preparing for, uh... Uh-oh. Don't bite me. Black Friday. The most violent American holiday. Yep. I actually... That's probably true. <laughs> so, so sad, but probably true. I've never done Black, Black Friday shopping, though, so I, I can't be blamed. It's not my fault. Hey, we have a Riverside map. So here, I am uh, here, I think, in this... Let me make sure if that's true. No, maybe it's not. Um, no, it's not. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually uh, beyond the map. I'm over here. So never mind. I lied and ignore me. I'm not a cartographer. I don't read maps good. One thing I, did, I failed to do in this uh, in this little store here is actually clear it. I don't know that for sure that I'm alone. Let's just assume that I am. Hey, a jerry can. Gas can. Having played so much uh, State of Decay recently, I want to like shove this door open, but I know that that's not how this works. In State of Decay, you can knock people over that way, but not here. Let's go shelf to shelf, taking all that is worthy of taking. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Apocalypse, which originally streamed live September 14th.
If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.